And now we discuss geography. Okay, now our topic today is growth poles and centers. So let's start. So introduction: How to how do regions grow? How do some regions grow more rapidly than others? Why are differences in levels of, of social welfare across regions so persistent? This this central question have attract attract the attention of a diverse groups of schools during the first 60 years the topics okay okay topics that were initially of interest only to economists and geographers are now being investigated by sociologists political scientists and researchers from other social uh, science disciplines this this growing interest in regional development studies is due to past to the recognition that the process driving innovation and national economy growth are fundamentally special in nature. Okay, and it was this which was realized by the scholars that space matters. This led to the development of the of, a, of the concept of growth poles. This concept was basically, was basically the outcomes of the, of the concerned and initiated planning of the development of underdeveloped and strength, strength stagnating regions in both developed and underdeveloped regions nations that have been ex expanding rapidly it was it was commonly observed that unbalanced economic growth within nations was found for an economy for to attain higher income levels it was essential that that the nations must and all first and will first develop or develop within itself one or several regional centers okay several regional centers of economic strength the video the sorry sir, the idea uh, the idea was to create development growth employment and industrialization in backward and or underdeveloped regions okay you can understand the concept theory mainly one region is why why one region uh, underdeveloped region and why one uh, another region is uh, highly developed region and this concept also uh, discuss here is space matter is the important things actually uh, important things so here interest of the regional development studies is the different uh, economics and the, the, or geographer they also um, they also uh, investigated so it is important for for all the matters of development so economic growth is such important things for any nation uh, nation's economy uh, economic growth or economic developmental perspectives uh, so next we discuss next we see its others things so implementing imp so uh, implanting Im implanting new industries in in focal points or at least to con to concentrate efforts investment in certain areas from which the development is, is supported supposed to diffuse to the whole region okay development is supposed to diffuse whole regions the growth fall theory originally conceived by Perox 1955 and later expanded by Bardewell 1966 moved, al moved along somewhat similar lines in that in that growth is assumed to, or to or originate in some region where a popular a popul a propulsive industry is located and then spread to the surrounding regions so you can see in so here See here, industrial or uh, info industries in focal points of this list are to concentrate, uh, concentrate efforts. So invest investments in certain areas for which the development is supposed to diffuse the whole region. Okay, development uh, whole region. Okay, diffused. So growth pole theory originally conceived by Rox 1955 and exp uh, and later uh, Bowdwell expanded. Okay, and by Bowdwell uh, moves uh, along somewhat similar lines. In, in that growth is assumed to originate in some regions and where a propulsive industry uh, is located and then spreads surrounding so here if industry is now, uh, industry now here so here now it is now diffused now all, uh, surrounded area okay surrounding area so even seen 
so you see uh, tell here this uh, th this concept okay about the well say so the core industry core industry and it is the linked linked industry okay it is uh, this round so you see the, you can this diagram the secondary it is uh, mainly uh, secondary growth pole and secondary growth pole it is okay it is growth pole and it is secondary growth pole here it is growth pole and it is secondary growth pole here uh, here is secondary industry it is again uh, secondary industry and linked industry here okay so here mainly mainly core area okay and linked industry it's uh, with secondary industry and linked industry so it is uh, now it is come to here and uh, another growth for growth fall is now occur so it is the important things you know telling me about well okay so it is important okay so we now discuss so uh, you can see it so it is our growth fall simple concept so next we discuss concept of perox okay so let's start modern theories of growth pole can be tracked traced back to the french political economist uh, economist francis perox okay modern modern most modern theories of growth pole can be uh, traced back to, to the french political economist francis uh, uh, perox and his work was in dominance in the 1950s the concept of growth pole was basically concer concerned with the phenomena of economic development the concept of growth pole was basically concerned with, concerned with the uh, phenomena of economic development okay the concept of, the concept of growth pole was uh, basically concerned uh, concerned with the phenomena of economic development and with the process of structural changes change and that uh, that uh, that accompanied accompanied this phenomena in his theory of growth pole he attempted to explain how modern process of economic growth uh, devi deviated from the stationary uh, conception to equilibrium growth okay he attempt to explain how modern process of economic growth deviated from the st from the st stationary uh, concept concept conception to of economic equilibrium growth okay so here in 1950s okay dominance here he is uh, work is the dominance in the 1950s he is a french uh, political uh, economist okay so he is really concerned with the phenomena of economic development with the process of structural change uh, that as accompanies accompanied this phenomena so growth policy attempted uh, to attempted to explain how modern process of economic growth deviated from the stationary conception of economic growth next basics basis of this theory there this theory, there, there are two concept two con corner stones up on which perox based his theory perox based his theory okay so competitorian theory of development a theory of inter industry linked and industrial interdependence so now here we discuss Scumpetition theory of development. Scumpetition, Peterian, Scumpetian theory of development. So here he, he, uh, he, he based. So it is now we discuss uh, perox and now we discuss. Okay. Uh, others, okay, others theory. It is the scum patrian theory of development. He based uh, his uh, argument heavily of scum uh, theory on the roles. Okay, so Perox mainly based on his uh, based on heavily on scum theory on the role uh, in of innovations and large scale farms. In scum analysis, development occurs as a result of discontinuous discontinuous sports parts in a dynamic world such discontinuous parts uh, are caused by the innovative entrepreneur whose activities uh, generally take place take place in large scale farms these large farm large scale farms are able to dominate their environment in the sense of exercising reversible and and partially reversible 
influence on the economics in units by reasons of their dimension, negotiation, negotiating strength um, and wide nature of their operation. Concept, concept of dynamic and leading propulsive forms. Propulsive form, okay. The close relationship between scale of operations, dominance and impulse, impulses to innovate become the most important features of paradox theory and lead to the concept of dynamic propulsive theory, propulsive form and leading propulsive industry. Characteristics of dynamic propulsive form. Okay, the characteristics of a dynamic propulsive form are that it is relatively large, has a high ability to innovate, innovate belong belongs to a relatively fast growing sector and the uh, quantity and intensity of its inter relations with other sectors of the economy are important enough for the in uh, induced efforts to be transmitted to them. Characteristics of lending propulsive firm, the characteristics of lending propulsive industry are also similar such as uh, such an industry as has highly advanced level of technology and marginal marginal exper expertise, high income uh, elasticity of demand for the for its products, market le local multiplier uh, multiplier effects, and stronger strong internal industry or linkage with other sectors. Okay, so here characteristic of le leading propulsive firm are okay. Uh, so the southern industry has highly advanced level of technology and man managerial managerial ex 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 expertise. High income elasticity of demand for its products, market local multiplier, okay, effects and strong inter linkage link, inter industrial linkages and other sector. So here the theory on later industry linkage, industry inter uh, interdependence. So here you can see in all the things and assessment theory given. The score of growthful theory, growthful theory also, but then to include the normative issue of policy intervention and specially targeted invest investment for accelerating the economic growth of developed of developing country. The arguments in favor of in favor of implementing a growthful strategy okay, on a special uh, planning. To uh, sp special planning tool draw on the following concept. Okay, so here the can see economics uh, here is the following concept: economics of scale, the nurturing of backward and forward supply linkages, fiscal and final demand linkages, and more and more generally, and then economics of agglomeration. Okay, assist, associ associated with special uh, clusters and geographic concentration uh, of economic activities. However, it is possible that contiguous religious regions are de deprived of their factors of production and markets based on market because of the, of the growth uh, of the growth pool. This theory describes the processes of growth which have land use implication in both the growth pool and its contiguous regions. But these implications are not spelled spelled uh, out ex ex explicitly in by the theory moreover the mechanical mechanisms that account for the growth of the people are not specialized specified a fact that detracts from the explanatory power of the theory itself and its relevance uh, to analyzing the determines determinants of land use, use change in, in this context so here you can uh, see that uh, some of the important following concept. Okay, the growthful theory, special planning tool. Okay, draw the economics on of scale, the nurturing of backward and forward supply linkages, and the fiscal and final demand linkages, and more generally. Okay, so economics uh, of agglomeration, association with special clusters and geographic concentration of economic activities. So all are important things. Okay, so so oh uh, some of the things i discussed now uh, some shortly so it is the theory of inter industry linkages uh, and industry independence so here for inter industry uh, linkages can be two types forward and backward in, in in the case of the backward linkage on industry 
इंडस्ट्री इनकरेजेस इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द अर्ली स्टेज स्टेज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन बाय एक्सपैंडिंग इट्स डिमांड फॉर इनपुट्स व्हिच आर द इनपुट आउटपुट्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इन द अर्ली स्टेज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन द केस ऑफ द एफोर्ड लिंक इज दिस ऑन इंडस्ट्री इनकरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द सब्सिक्वेंट स्टोरेज स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आइडर बाय ट्रांसमिटिंग इनोवेशन ऑफ एफ और एफेक्ट्स ऑफ इनोवेशन forward uh, one possibility now in the is that as a result of innovation the cost of production cost of production of in the industry decline this could lead to a fall in the price of its output if this happens the demand of this industry output of this industry which use uh, which use its output it uh, will increase in addition to this possibility there are many other ways in which in innovations of effect of innovations can be sub transmitted forward all these factors Im imply industrial independence according to paradox growth holds growth does not appear everywhere and all at once it appears in points of de or develop development poles uh, with with variable in intensities it spreads along diverse channel uh, and with varying terminal effects to the whole of the economy this concept of growth fold is closely related to products idea of uh, on economic space on it of uh, as a field of forces consisting of centers uh, or poles or foci foci from the centrifugal force uh, emanate and to which centrifugal force centrifugal forces are attracted so each center being a center of attraction and the pulsar has its proper field so which is set in the field of other kinds other strains uh, other centers centers the concept of growth pole here uh, in perax are perax early perax early work denotes an individual plant one of which occupy each on our uh, own attract abstract economic space that then but then a specific geographical space okay in in this in his 1950 work perax describes describes the growth as a farm as an industry or group of farms industries characterized by a large spread a huge degree of inter interaction with other farms a high degree of dominance which means the development of production in these farms is the uh, decisive for the extent of with other farms associated with them as dependent both in the input and output relations and a high level of innovation these farms lend tend to grow at a faster faster rate than other related industries in france of the 50s these characteristics were typically associated associated with the modern technically advanced industries that is the chemical metal metal metallurgy metallurgical and petrochemical industries so now we come to the dates okay so here we discuss leading propulsive farm we discussed before okay so and we discuss this diagram this diagram is important here go then which is growth which is bold important things here so here we discuss growth uh, course industry and it is linked industry we had spread now okay so it's very religion and it is uh, mainly um, the secondary growth full it is mainly secondary industry here it is this type of diagram linked industry it is, it is mainly the core area uh, it is mainly core area but no it is mainly growth area no it is growth area and it is growth area but it here is the four uh, characteristics core industry linked industry secondary and linked industry second okay so all are having but here is secondary industry and linked industry happening okay so it is the important things so thank you friends i think